Praise God. Uh, once again, uh, appreciate it, Pastor Amos, for giving me another opportunity to uh, speak a few words or just uh, say a little prayer. And uh, for a minute there, whew, I didn't think I would make it. I didn't think Pastor Frost would work me that hard. Uh, man, but uh, thank God. I, I, I praise God for everything he's done, everything he's doing, uh, everything he has in store for me. Uh, tonight, we're going to be able to try to be short and sweet, if we can, as the Lord's will. Uh, a few things I want to talk about, and uh, one of the main things I want to talk about is us remembering uh, that God gave us everything we need to succeed. He gave us his word. That's all we need, his word. So he has given us for each and every situation in our lives, he has already written the exact words that we need to get us through. Um, and uh, let me just talk about one of them. We talk about uh, everything that's going on right now. And man, what's going on? Is it the end of the world? Uh, is it the beginning of the mark of the beast? You know, uh, or whatever. But any of that doesn't really matter if you trust and believe in God because he say these things are gonna to come to pass anyway. So my thing is to make sure that we, we have his word, we know his word, we study his word, we meditate on his word. Something I started doing more and more at one time, you know, I used to just, you know, you know, figure, you know, it's gonna to come to me. But something that's not in you can't come out of you. So the more his word you have in here, in you, the uh, the the more uh, uh, opportunities for word to come out of you, you know. So it's like ongoing, and uh, uh, one of them, like I say, with the stuff that's going on right now, and I know everybody is, you know, just running crazy and oh, what was me? What are we gonna do? And 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 all this. But remember, he said in his word, "If my people, which are called by my name," shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So that's it. That takes care of it right there. But that's something we have to do. But we're not going to find security in stuff that we don't know or we believe. We don't believe. And if you believe that everything, every word that comes out of the mouth of God is true, then you go back to that word and you use that word when you're going through. You hungry, you know? The Bible tells us that we have not because we ask not. You know, he said he's been young and he's been old and he's never seen uh, oh, I, should I just they stole that from me. But anyway, uh, uh, I know the opportunities I have uh, a few times when I, uh, I've run across uh, uh, situations or, 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 or opportunities, I should call them, to, uh, to show who I am and whose I am. You know, uh, I was at the gas station the other day and, uh, man, I was getting some gas and I was using the card. You know, everybody using the card now. Nobody have cash. And I could see this lady approaching me. And I'm like, Lord, I hope this lady not coming to ask me for anything. All the while, I'm saying that because that's how I was feeling. But the Lord was ministering to me. He was ministering to me. And it was like, you know, will you get me ready? He was preparing me already. And I'm like, man, what am I going to do? You know, I, I don't even know if I have any money in my wallet or whatever. I'm like, oh, my God. So the lady walked up to me and she said, sir. Could you spare some money for me to get some pizza, uh, a burger or something out of racetrack? And uh, I was like, I, I hadn't gotten it yet. I was like, I said, I'm using the card, man. I'm using, I'm using the card right now. You know, that, that, that's, what I, that's, what, that's what I have. That's all I have is the card. And right after the lady walked away and I got through pumping gas and I got ready to drive off, Lord spoke to me again. <laughs> you know? Do what I call you to do, you know? And I open my wallet up, fumbling around in there, 
I had 10 bucks. And I'm like, oh man, should I go make change or what? Lord said, no, give it to him. I got in my car. I drove around to the other side where the lady was standing at. I, it felt so much better when I gave her that $10. It was such a burden lifted off me once I gave her that money. I, you know, it, I, it almost felt like I was floating on clouds. So when we do what God calls to do, man, you get you get such a it's such a adrenaline rush, you know, when you uh, when you do what God God asking you to do. I mean, at first you you might be hesitant to do it because you're thinking about you, you're thinking about person, you're thinking about other things, you know, what you need to do with with this money. But God has already spoken to somebody else and and, and let them know that that there was gonna be a way made for them. And I do not want to be one to block anybody else's blessings because I don't want anybody blocking mine. Well, anyway, and I know, uh, you know, in a lot of cases, you know, uh, I'll be talking to my friends and stuff and, you know, uh, you know, it'll be like, man, you know, I, you know, my so-and-so is sick, you know, and this is going on. I said, man, you, you got to start reading the word, man. You got, you got to, you got to find a word to hold on to, you know, and I said, he said, by, but it's by his stripes, we're healed. You know, there's healing in his word, you know. And, and, and I don't care what you're going through. There's a word for you and there's a word for me. Um, my wife said a lot of times, you know, she always said, big, I don't understand why you don't let stuff bother you. I say, I've been there. I've been there. I'm not going to meditate stuff I don't have on stuff I don't have control over because that's just another way for the devil to step in and, and, and do whatever it is he want to do to you. You know, and I'm not trying to give him any ammunition at all. You know, so whether it be, you know, me being hungry or whether me being me needing something or, or, you know, me feeling down about myself, you know, you know, as, as, as a man or whatever, you know, he said on the head and I'm not to tell, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I know these, I know these things. So I hold on to these things. And I was talking to my pastor, Pastor Frost today, and I was trying to keep him encouraged. And, you know, he's going through some things and. You know, uh, Mama Frost's wife, First Lady Frost, you know, she's she's a, a little down and, a, you know, a little sickly. And, you know, she kind of let a lot of stuff get to her. And, you know, sometimes they, they might collide. You know, she, you know, my pastor might be on about, you know, you got to believe. You know, you you say you know the word. You say you hold on to the word. You know, that's action. You know, it, you, you, you ought to see something developing in your life. And, that, and that's true. You know, we claim to, to say we believe in the word, uh, you know. And, and, and that we trust in God for this and we trust in God for that. And every time some little thing comes through, we just fall apart, you know, or just, you know, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Whoa, it's me or whatever. And then we need to be mindful that there is a word for each and every situation that we're going through. And uh, and uh, I just thank God for it. I thank God, you know, I'm at a point now where I can, you know, and I still have my little tip trials and my little tribulations and, and I thank God. But, but one thing about it is the more I meditate on his word and the, the more I call on him and the more, the more I trust him and one thing and the next time it get easier and easier and easier, it's just like anything else. You know, if the more you do it, you know, the easier it's going to be for you to do it the next time. So the more you trust God, the more you're going to be able to keep trusting him. And the more he's going to be able to keep delivering because he already know that you, you got that faith and that you, you're you going to believe it. You know, and 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 that's something that that the devil use against us all the time. You know, he'll he'll throw stuff at us just to get us off of our game. You know, make us forget about, you know. The, the tools we have in our arsenal, you know, he just, you know, we don't realize that, that, you know, we come packing, you know, when we, we, we got this thing, you know, and we, we have a word for him and, and, you know, when he come at us, you know, yeah, he might think he got us down, but all we got to do is reach back and grab that word and meditate on that word, man. And we coming back, we getting up, you know, and like that song said, we're coming out, you know? So uh, I, I just want us to uh, keep our brothers and our sisters in Christ, keep them lifted up. Uh, just keep praying for them and, and just keep sharing a word with them. And, and you know, they're going to be down sometime. You know, even some of the 
stronger believers, you know, get down and we, you know, pastors, you know, get down and elders, you know, get down and bishops, you know, they sometimes they have bad days and they get down and, and, you know, and, and, uh, and our brothers and sisters, you know, sometimes you happiest one in the world, always smiling. One day you might find them and they got a little frown on their face and you can just speak an encouraging word to them and, and give them, give them some hope and, you know, lift them up and, you know, yeah, you're right, brother Paul. Yeah, you sister Cheryl. Yeah, you're right. That's right. He is, you know, and they can just, and they'll get that joy back and, you know, and that flame will go to burn and, and they get, get that fire back in their eyes and they can move on and, and, and go and pass it on to the next one. And, and we got to, we got to do that in this day and age right now. What the devil want to do is he want to separate us. He want to take us and, and, and he want to keep us down. And he want to keep us meditating on what we're going through and, 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 and not who going to bring us through. You know, he want to keep us meditating on, on what we don't have and other than believing in the one that have everything can give to us, you know, and that not, not knowing that we, we are children of God, you know, who, 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 who owns everything, who's created everything. And, and there's nothing he really can say to hold us down. And I just want us to know that right now. I find you a word. You know, then you know, to find your word that you can hide in your heart when time, when sin time come, because he's coming and and and, and, and rather you sin against God, you got that word in your heart, and and you can hide that word in your heart that so you won't sin against God. And, you know, and and when you when you feeling lonely, you know, you grab that word and hold on to that word. You know, you he say he'll never leave me, or uh, never forsake me. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we that's something we need, and that's something we can do and we have it available to us we've always had it we've always had that word so i just want to say y'all tonight find a word there's something in there you can find and hold on to it could be one scripture it could mean be many scriptures just find you something that can bring you back to that place where you and god are united you know where where you can feel him and he can feel you. You know, it's saying his word if he abide in us and we abide in him, we can ask what we will. There's no need for us not having stuff that we want or that we need. And if it's lining up, he's gonna give it to us. And if it's something that he don't give us, it could be he's preparing us for it. He could be just getting you ready. I don't want to get blessings that I'm not ready to handle. To me, that's useless. It doesn't make much sense. So I want him to get me ready for my blessings. I don't know about you, but I want him to get me ready. So let's continue to thank just if you know a brother or sister that you haven't seen in a while or haven't talked to for a while. You know, maybe God will lay it on your heart to give them a call and just give them an encouraging word just to lift them up. You know, I mean, you never know what people are going through and, you know, uh, 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 you know, and, and, and just just something seems to be simple as a word is the most powerful thing in the world. When God left his word, he left us just what we needed to move on. So, Father, tonight we come to you right now, Father God, thanking you for your word, Father God. Father God, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your peace, your love, Father God. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on Calvary's cross and gave us opportunities to the tree of life, Father God. Father God, we want to pray for each and every pastor today, Father God, every minister, Father God, every sister, brother, uh, 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 every office of the church, Father God, bishop, elder, Father God, uh, uh, uh prophets father god we want to we want to pray for all of them father god we want you to continually strengthen them and lift them up and encourage them father god and continually give them what they need father god to fight your battles father god we know father god that that if we have your word father god we can defeat the enemy father god we know father god that you have power in your word father god we know it have love in your word father god we know it has purpose in your word father god we know father god if we just speak your word 
word, Father God, that everything gonna be all right, Father God. We're gonna make it, Father God. Everything gonna be just fine, Father God. So, Father God, just continually still instill your word in us, Father God, that we continually have a desire for your word, Father God, and, 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 and chew on your word and meditate on it, Father God, and that when times that is needed, Father God, that we be able to regurgitate that word, Father God, and, and continue on our journey, Father God. And we ask you to touch uh, Pastor Frost and Mama Frost, the Frost family, Father God, continue to lift them up, Father God. I'm praying for them right now, Father God, and I'm thanking you, Father God. I'm thanking you for a healing for Mama Frost. I'm thanking you for strength for Pastor Frost right now, Father God. I'm thanking you for a mind renewal for Wager Frost that you touch her from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, Father God, that she come running asking what she must do to be saved, Father God. We, 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 we just praying for them right now, Father God. We love you, Father God, and we lift you up, Father God. And, and, and I'm praying for my family, Father God, my wife, and my kids, Father God, and all those on this call that's representing their family, Father God. And, and we just want you to know, Father God, that we love you, Father God. We need you, Father God. And continually for give us that word, Father God. And I'm asking each and every one of you, Father God, to, to find a word, Father God. Make a phone call. Call somebody and give somebody an encouraging word. Lift somebody up with a word tonight, Father God. Just give them a call. Somebody's on your heart. God has placed somebody on your heart to give a call to the night, Father God. So you make that call. I don't care if you call them the night, Father God, or you call them in the morning if you think it's too late, Father God. But make that call. Lift somebody up. Give them some joy. Give them some life, Father God. We thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God.